Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonmoon.com and today we're going to decorate our bedroom for Christmas. We've been doing a lot of Christmas decorating around here now that Thanksgiving is past. And so today we're tackling the bedroom. I'm just going to keep it really simple in here, add a few touches, switching it over from fall. Not gonna go all out, but definitely going to add a little bit of holiday cheer. Now, before I go too much further in, I wanna say thank you to today's video sponsor, the Yeedy K650. I have been wanting to try out a robotic vacuum for a while now. We love using it for trapping it in a space like our kitchen, allowing it to do its work, and then in a place like this bedroom where it's hard to lug a vacuum up here very often because it is on the second floor, when kids run through this place with crumbly food, we can keep our house Christmas ready and tidy with little to no effort. We ended up going with this particular model because it has a stronger suction for all kinds of messes. You know that we make a lot of them. It has three adjustable suction power levels, strong enough to get any dirt, debris, dust, crumbs, hair, carpet. It's good for wood floors as well. We do have wood floors throughout most of our house. I also like that it has the tangle free brush with three girls in this house. We have lots of hair and then we also have an indoor cat. So more on that after I show you a little bit more of our decor. For this makeover, I brought in some flannel sheets. I like to dress the bed with the seasons. Now we do of course have air conditioning and heating in our house, but we are the type to keep it cooler in the winter and a lot warmer in the summer. Actually, over the summer, we hardly turn on our air conditioner at all. We just open the windows most of the time. And so I dress the bed with linen and light blankets. For this season, I brought in some red flannel sheets just to get things really cozy. Our down comforter, linen duvet, and a linen blanket. I also made some pillow covers. So I was trying to decide what kind of pillows I would put for decorative pillows. And since I already bought the design that I use for the chair in my chair makeover video, I decided to get my embroidery machine back out, stitch out that pattern in red thread on some linen, and then make pillow covers. So I also purchased some red linen, used some cotton cording, put a little detail around the outside edge and made a couple of pillow covers to just be custom and handmade. I always like to add elements like that into my spaces so they don't look like everyone else's and then I can just add my own personal spin. fall tour I had some dried leaves in the ironstone pitchers on the two nightstands by me and Luke's bed and I ended up grabbing some faux greenery with some red berries and pine cones just to make it festive and then you know I love faux greenery I use a lot of real greenery too I like to go out and snip it but it's just great because I can use this year after year I can store it away in the basement next year, bring it out just the same. I also added one of my handmade jar candles to the nightstand. I brought in a couple of bells and just made them really simple and elegant. Now behind me, you will see some wreaths on our armoire. In our house, we don't have any closets, so we have to utilize armoires for storage. I found some wreaths. You will see that I have gone wreath crazy. I love small wreaths. I like putting them on just about every china cabinet, armoire, hutch. It just makes them festive. It's pretty. I'm adding to my collection of wreaths pretty much every year. I found these 
They were really inexpensive. I added some red ribbon and then I have my trick for hanging wreaths on hutches and cabinets. I just put an upside down command hook on the back of the doors. That way whenever I slip it on, it'll stay up and then it's damage free. And on a lot of my cabinets, I actually just left them and so that I can swap wreaths out throughout the year. So I could of course put different wreaths here. Maybe a boxwood later in the season would be really great. And I just love the touch that it adds. Behind the camera, I have our blue milk painted dresser. To that, I added a red rug. Now I saw the rug, I thought the texture was really beautiful. And instead of using it as a rug, I just folded it a little bit, put it on top of the dresser, added some faux greenery. Then I was just playing with it. You know, I thought, why not add some more of the red ribbon since I have more? I added some orange slices and bells, and then I added taper candles to my Victorian candle holder, which I found at an antique shop at one point. busy throughout the Christmas season. I'm sure you are too, which means that cleanup needs to be easy. That is why I love my Yeedy K650. It has super strong suction. Whenever kids run into this room with crumbly food, which happens all the time, just yesterday I made some einkorn biscuits and the rule is to stay in the kitchen with food. That does not mean that that always happens. Definitely found kids upstairs crumbling it everywhere and we had just actually just vacuumed so the yeedy can be put in a room with the door shut allowed to work its magic while i'm off doing other things like cooking and wrapping presents and decorating and working on my blog and all the things that you do as a mom of six i also love that it only operates at 56 decibels which is quieter than most robotic vacuums it's about the same hum as the refrigerator which is amazing because also I'm always creating a lot of videos. You probably hear a noisemaker in the next room over because Micah is sleeping and I don't want to disturb him so I can get this done. And so having less noise is definitely a plus and something that I was really looking for in our robotic vacuum. It also has an extra large 800 milliliter dustbin which allows it to pick up more dust and dirt and crumbs without having to constantly empty it. I also did download the Yeedy app on my phone. This allows me to control the vacuum when I'm away from it, if I'm not at home. You can start a cleaning cycle, stop the device, schedule it, preset your cleaning schedule, all from the app. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing our bedroom with a simple Christmas makeover. Make sure to check out Yeedy, the sponsor of this video. Stay tuned. Later this week, I will be sharing our whole farmhouse all decorated for Christmas. If you didn't catch the last video where I shared our cottage decorated for Christmas, I will leave a link down in the description box for that or you can just check out one of my most recent videos. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.